USD is down at Torero Stadium practicing for the second round of the FCS playoffs this week. They'll be heading to Fargo Dome to take on North Dakota State after a historic win at Cal Poly last week. They're the first PFL team to ever win a playoff game. They're getting excited to head to North Dakota this weekend. What kind of pride do you feel being the first PFL team to win an FCS playoff game? Well, I think it's really nice. It was, it's uh, a big honor for us. We've tried to represent the league in the best uh, manner that we know how. And, you know, the past three years, uh, none of us have been successful in the first round. We've been thrown, thrown out and sent back home. And it was a, it was a big game. And uh, it's a nice little uh, landmark for us. And Cal Poly had a strong run game who you beat last week. How is that good preparation for this week? Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, Cal Poly runs a pretty pretty different offense than uh, than this one, so it's a little bit different. But um, it was good preparation for sure. You know, the size of the team and stuff like that is kind of what we're going to be seeing this week. So it's good. So congratulations, you won Offensive Player of the Year in the PFL. Um, what does this achievement mean to you? It means a lot. Just coming from last year, where I missed most of the year, so having my teammates behind me the whole way and trusting me, it feels good to get that goal accomplished. And we've talked a ton about Jonah Hodges this year. He's carried the team offensively and he just won PFL Offensive Player of the Year. What has he contributed to your team? Well, I think he's driven the offense and uh, we, I've, I've said this before, if we look back on last year, had he not broken his collarbone, I think our season could have been a little different there too. He's, he brings another dimension to us and I know Saturday against Cal Poly, he looked like a man possessed and ran and played that way. It was a fantastic game. They have a really strong run game at North Dakota. Have you changed how you've been practicing this week to prepare for that? Yeah, I mean, we just had our first practice today, but definitely um, the run all year has kind of been our strong suit, so I think we're pretty, pretty well suited for it so far. Um, we put in a few new defenses, a few little wrinkles and stuff like that to defend for it, so it's looking good for us. What challenges do you face going into North Dakota? Well, when you're going to go face, face the five-time national champion, I think there's a lot of challenges at hand. They're very big, they're very tough, they're very physical, they got a great crowd, they have tradition, and we've got to go and play our... We have to bring, I think, above our A game this week to play with these guys. the noise blaring, the speakers playing, really loud cheering. How is that preparing you for this weekend? Uh, well, like Coach was saying earlier in practice, they have one of the one of the loudest stadiums in uh, college football, especially in the FCS. So, yeah, we've seen the noise out here, especially for the offense. I mean, it's going to help them a lot. And they're number five in the FCS for red zone defense and number six for scoring defense. Do you have a plan for getting into the end zone this week? We'll see what Coach Engstrand has up his sleeve, but if we keep uh, competing like we did last week, I think we'll have a chance. Can you talk about all the great PFL selections you had this year, 18 of your 22 starting line? Well, I think that uh, the first thing that shows is we were on our mark recruiting. That we brought in the right guys and, and they, we put them in the right spots. They took the coaching. Uh, they were surrounded by a group of guys that helped them become all PFL. You don't do this by yourself. I think you play hard, but you gotta you gotta have some help from other guys too to help you make uh, that make you look good. And uh, I think this is a team credit as opposed to an individual credits. And Coach Lindsey won Head Coach of the Year. What has he done to impact you over the last three years? Yeah, he's a great coach. He's given me an opportunity transferring in here, and he's just been behind us the whole way. Oh, well, he's had a huge impact. I mean, probably the best coach I've ever had. You know, it's been, it's been my coach for five years now, and yeah, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have wanted any other, any other way.